I am going to do a butterfly that I do with um, star buns and show you guys how to do that. And I am going to mix a few different colors. Right now I'm taking the pink star blends on a smoothie blender. I'm putting it in the corner of my eye and sweeping it up. You can see how intense this color is. It's really quite pretty. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to also kind of look into a mirror here since the camera is not always the best place to look. But I live in a really well, in the Midwest, so in the summer, it gets really, really hot. Um, and sometimes I get really nervous about doing events because I know all the paint is going to melt off of everyone. So I started using some star blends in my regular painting routine and I get a lot less nervous on super super hot days so I'll do a series of videos is my plan anyways of the designs I kind of push kids to on days when it's you know above 90 and kids usually at events are doing bouncy houses and stuff like that too so they're running around and getting sweaty anyway so these can come in handy because they do not melt off like regular paint so you can see I'm going into a butterfly shape I did pink I grabbed a little bit of purple which is this color and I am just blending that as a transition color here I went under the eye as well I'm gonna go back into my pink and I am going to do start the bottom wing on the outside corner of my eye, connect those colors, and pull down into kind of a ball shape. Not so much of a wing, but just create a little ball with that pink. And I rarely paint around kids' eyes that are younger than teenagers. So if this was a small child, I would maybe start here and go up and just avoid the eyeball. Um, so now what I'm going to do is dip into this beautiful blue. And I'm going to finish... shaping out and blending the wing. So not only do I like to use star blends on really, really hot days, and I just alter my designs a little bit for the star blends, but I like to use them on adults too because it really looks a lot softer and, I don't know, less cheesy, if that's an okay thing to say. <laughs> you know, face paint on regular face paint, water activated face paint on adults can just look kind of silly where you can do the star blends a little bit more elegantly, softer, looks like real makeup, that kind of thing. Okay, so as you can see, I did pretty traditional wing shape at the top. It's a little more triangular shaped, squared off. And then I'm doing kind of a, a ball shape at the bottom. And I've got that pink, purple, and then that bright electric pretty blue on the outside to give it some depth. So then I'm going to dip into the blue again 
And I'm gonna create just a little shape, just a little peak at the bottom of that. And you can see the tri-color effect that I've got going here. And I'm gonna do the same on this side, create a little bit of a peak. And there we go. You can do that pretty quickly. I always take a lot longer um, doing it on myself than if I'm doing it at an event. But okay, so now what I would do with this is a quick outline. So I usually start with a teardrop. I don't always do this on myself or on other people, but when I am doing it on myself, I will do one side and then the other because it's a real muscle memory thing. Um, if you do the entire one side and then go to the other, you're just not gonna remember as well what you do. But if you do line on this side, line on that side, the chances of you getting them more accurate or in the right spots are better. Now, if I'm standing in front of a kid, I can see exactly what I did and it's easier for me to go back and forth or do one full side and then the other. So then I'm going to press down and wiggle. And I am just going to do three. pieces of the wing and then I'm going to go right to my other side and do the same thing. Press, wiggle, press and wiggle and flick in and I'm flicking in kind of just above the eye. Now for the bottom, get some more black here. For the bottom, what I'm going to do is press and wiggle up, press and wiggle up, and then right here, go down, press and up, press and up. So it creates kind of a I don't know if you call that tear-shaped, triangular-shaped wing on the outside part of the eye rather than coming down here and doing a wing shape. Just a different way to do it. Okay, so let's see if I can remember how I did that on this side. Sometimes it helps if I count how many sections I have. One, two, three, four, five. So five sec sections. Okay, so I'm going to wiggle down and up. One to take that down to a peak at the bottom, three, four, five. So there we go, it's almost like a feathered shape wing. Okay, so at this point you can and I am using water activated paint now. I should have said that. So one thing I found with Star Blends is you, since you're going over powder with something that is now a liquid, um, sometimes it can pull if you're trying to do something really complicated. So I keep it pretty simple. I do an outline around it. I don't have any trouble doing that. Um, when I'm doing this with butterflies, sometimes then I'll go in and create those channels that you see on a butterfly's wing. I think this is a really, really easy step to do and gives your butterfly a nice realistic look. You can go thicker in some parts and thinner in others to create that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side.
And then in those channels, what you can do is round out those edges. So you're really creating a thicker black area by rounding out those peaks. And you can connect some of them to create more channels. And then when we add some white dots, those are going to stand out a lot more. So I'm going to round out a few of those. And then on myself, I'm going to do some eyeliner just coming from the corner of my eye. You can do a few lashes if you want, up to you. And I would, you know, all depending on what age you're doing this to. Um, I really, really don't like getting paint around little kids' eyes. They have to be an older teenager for me to put paint around their eyes. I'm really not comfortable doing that. Personal preference. You have to be care careful about fallout um, when you're doing this and you're really pushing those smoothie blenders into the makeup to get a really, really good coverage. You are gonna get powder and fallout. Let's see if you can see that on here. You know, it's, it's like eyeshadow. So then if you go onto the kid's forehead and start scrubbing that into their forehead, you will get fallout into their eyes. I've had a few kids say to me, oh, it's in my eye, which is my worst nightmare. So I really, really try to keep it away from kids' eyes. I only do this on adults or kids that I think are old enough, and I'm really, really careful to after I scrub that in there to tap off that excess so that I'm not getting powder running into kids' eyes. Um, you can imagine why I don't want to do that because it's terrifying. Okay, so then what I'll do a lot of times to finish this off is some simple flowers, which I really like doing with the star blends and with this design. So I'll show you how I do that and then we're gonna finish it up really quickly. Small petal brush and I am loading it up with some white. And I loaded the tip with blue. I'll do this in my mirror so that I can see better. And instead of doing just an antenna up, I'm just going to do a trail of flowers. One in the center and petals going up. I'm going to reload my brush here and do a few petals in the corner. Same thing on this side and I just like doing this. I think it looks feminine and pretty and I think it fills it in really, really quickly without having to do a lot of detail. So. I like doing it this way. And then to finish off our Star Blends butterfly, we are going to do a few dots. And I like to concentrate it, concentrate the dots in the black spaces we created just because it stands out a little bit more. Make sure your dots are varying sizes so that it looks a little bit more natural. And do a few dots on the corner of the eye where we did those petals. Sometimes I do a few on the inside of the eye. And 
and then on the flowers as well. So that's a pretty quick way that I would do a star blends butterfly. You can also add lipstick and I use these little disposable lipstick applicators. Um, I got a huge pack of them on Amazon. So that's a nice thing to finish it off with. I like these better than the small round sponge applicators because this is more like a paintbrush to me. I feel like I have more control over it. So besides that, um, you know, that's what I would typically do in an event. The nice thing about this is that the paint that is closest to the eye is the star blends and it's not going to run. So if you have a little kid that then goes into the bouncy house, this is going to stay on a lot better than a full butterfly in water activated paint. I also like this because it just has a soft, pretty, ethereal look. And I love doing this for adults. A lot of times on an adult, I'll do more like just the one side so that, you know, it's not too overwhelming either. They just have something kind of pretty and feminine on one side. So there you go. I hope you liked this and I hope you try it. Thanks for watching. Here's a picture of another butterfly I did with star blends and then an example of the half face version I do as well. Thanks again for watching.